Hello and welcome, Pisarians. Pisces, this is your general reading for the month of February 2023. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yannack. Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, <coughs> Pisceans, what we do here is we will look into three different sections um, to make things a little bit easier to understand. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of February 2023 for your very sign before we then look into your emotional core. You know, is, there, is there's love coming in or what you can expect uh, and maybe there's healing that can happen, that sort of stuff, before we finally then move on to your um, opportunities. Opportunities for the most part are what about, are what about, uh, are about what sustains you financially. Okay? <coughs> You ready? Let's have a look. Okay. When it comes to the overall energy for the months, you have cancer energy, which means immersion. What the guides are saying, immerse yourself in anything and everything you do. Don't do things half-assed this month. If you're not feeling it, remove yourself. But whatever it is you do in all areas, so if you agree, it sounds a bit weird, but if you if you are opening your heart for a new relationship, then give it your all, right? Uh, because the overall energy is, is about being fully present and, and immerse yourself in the entirety of your experiences, because that's how we find out um, what is what. And it's important because I'm a Pisces too, and we are the sign of the dreamer. So we tend to sort of have daydreams and, and not pay too much attention of stuff, which also then therefore mean that sometimes we stay too long in situations that we shouldn't be in, right? And so being fully immersed in, in, you, in the entirety of your experiences is what you are being asked to do this very month, which is February 2023. You're watching Thomas Tower readings. Moving on to your emotional core. You ready for this? Let's have a look. Now, we have the ninth house and exploration. Now, it's interesting because nine is the number of completion. And exploration doesn't necessarily mean that we're completing stuff. So the point I'm getting here is, uh, this is this is about manifesting love, intimate relationships, um, and or therefore looking at uh, your um, your relationship should you be in one and make sure that it actually works right so with exploration the point is to bring it all to another level right um, explore new avenues um, it's, it's hard to, to to sort of explain what I get and it may sound a bit weird but um, <laughs> so I'm seeing a guy who is European and then he goes to Japan and falls in love with a Japanese lady and it's the first time he has been in love with a lady not from his comp uh, continent. It sounds a bit weird, but the point they're making is it's unexpected and uh, go for that, right? So because when you know a certain energy very well, um, you have the tendency to repeat it and to go there, right? So we, we all like this consistency thing and we have, a, we, so the point is here for us Pisceans with regards to the emotional core. Let's try not to have a preference. Let's try not to go for what we automatically like, explore allow yourself to be taken into areas that you wouldn't necessarily be taken into. And it's interesting because the, the, the card here has seven and four, which is 11. 11 is a master number. So this is a month where it is actually quite safe for us Pisceans um, to open up and allow yourself to be loved and explore love, right? Just don't make it the same that you had before, which also, this sounds a bit weird and maybe it's a bit, maybe it's just not for everybody because it's a general release. What I'm getting here is with this energy is that, and again, I'm not here to tell you what to do, you have free will, but you understand that because of the exploration part and the whole thing they did with, with people from another continent, which doesn't mean you have to go to Japan to, 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 to find someone that loves you and like vice versa. Because this is about not following old patterns, what I'm getting strongly, I don't even know for whom this is specifically, is to not go back to relationships that you have already explored, because very likely they will not go 
anywhere, even though it is very tempting because there's a familiarity and maybe, you know, when there's love um, that hasn't gone uh, anywhere, it is difficult to let that fully go. But should you be a person, that's what I'm getting here strongly, should you be a person that is thinking about rekindling it and you are Piscean, uh, the energy sort of says, nah, you're right, unless you can explore new areas in that relationship. Right? So I know this was a bit specific, but that's what the, what the guides do. This is a general reading, and then all of a sudden, um, this is how this works. I do believe, seriously, uh, whoever needs to find this video, finds it. And um, that is just a message that came up for whoever it is sort of for. Right. So lastly, let's look at opportunities for the months of February 2023 for the sign of Pisces. Now, interesting, you have the fifth house. But we're not talking about the house here, we're talking about the passion that the fifth house sort of here denotes. Um, number five is about change. And what the guides are saying to you, whatever it is you're doing with your life, maybe add a few things, see if you can diversify what you do. But the point is, whatever you are drawn to, don't make it about how much money can I make from this, right? Is this actually sustainable? The point is that passion is your main number. And the number on your card is the number seven, four and three is seven. And we are in seven year, which is the number of protection and healing. So when it comes to opportunities, the things you have a passion about and you are passionate about um, will manifest so much stronger than anything else. But don't analyze. Pisces, we are the 12th sign, we are the sign of the dreamer. We are because Neptune is the, is, the, is the governing planet of Pisces and Neptune's job is to bring spiritual awareness to us, which means by default we are a highly spiritual sign. So don't be analytical this month about opportunities. It just won't help at all. Good. That's all we got time for, dear Pisceans. Uh, you're watching Thomas' Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you all next month. Bye-bye.